Islands are often home to some of the strangest creatures ever discovered on this planet. Monstrous swans with a 3 meter wingspan once lived alongside dog-sized elephants on the island of Sicily during the Middle Pleistocene. Gorilla-sized lemurs roamed the forests of Madagascar. Even today, the largest living tortoise can be found on the Galapagos Islands. What is it about islands that allow these creatures to evolve? Before we can answer this, it is good to know the general evolutionary trends that can be seen in most island vertebrates. Many island vertebrates are usually either larger or smaller than their mainland counterparts. These characteristics are known as gigantism and dwarfism. In most cases, vertebrates such as rodents, lizards, snakes and birds will experience gigantism, whereas larger vertebrates such as elephants and ungulates will experience dwarfism. The explanation for these characteristics is known as Foster's Rule, or the island effect. The rule is named after mammologist Dr. Bristol Foster, who observed gigantism and dwarfism in many of the vertebrate species found on the Queen Charlotte Islands. He compared the environmental factors present on the islands to those of British Columbia, where most of the island vertebrates had originated from. Foster concluded that the smaller vertebrates were becoming larger on the island because there were less species competing for the same resources. This reasoning centers around the idea that in environments with many similar species, competition is avoided by sticking to certain size groups. For example, in a mainland environment, one species of large rodent will feed on large seeds, and another species of smaller rodent will feed on small seeds. On islands where the small mainland species is present, but the large species is absent, the smaller species no longer has competition and can grow larger to eat both the large and small seeds. Foster also had an answer for dwarfism. Islands usually do not contain enough vegetation to support large vertebrates. This makes it much more advantageous to have a smaller body mass that requires less food. Although islands have given rise to some of the most unique animals on this planet, they also show how evolution can often repeat itself. Australia's relative isolation from Eurasia and lack of placental mammals has provided a sanctuary for marsupial mammals to thrive. Although placental mammals and marsupial mammals are separated by 150 million years of evolution, many of Australia's marsupial species morphologically resemble Eurasian placental mammals. For example, the extinct Australian carnivore thylacine could easily be mistaken for a species of canine, despite having no relation. The same situation can be seen in the Madagascan carnivore, the Fusa. Despite its cat-like appearance, this family is more closely related to mongoose. 